Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing my five, or not five, it's more than five, my best luxury buys for 2020. I know it's late, I know it's February, but we're gonna post it anyways and film it because I still wanna share it and I'm sure you guys wanna still hear it. Because this is the Lux and Lipstick channel, I'm wearing the drum roll, please. Here we go. I'm wearing Lip of the Day, ColourPop, Mars Ultra Matte Lip with Vino Lip Pencil from MAC as my lip pencil. I kind of did like an ombre lip. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candace. I do luxury fashion and design and beauty videos. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in once again and staying subscribed and watching my videos. If you're new, hopefully you'll stick around and subscribe because I post lots of fun Lux videos on this channel. Channel? Who's that? Also, if you're interested, interested in lifestyle, fashion, and attainable beauty, I have a separate channel. Link down below. So let's dive right into these. I'll actually start with accessories. So accessories such as SLGs and shoes. So ironically, yeah, I bought this in 2020. I was like, wait, when did I buy this? Wait, did I buy this in 2020? Okay, so I'm gonna count it in 2020 because technically it's when I bought it. I was just waiting on other things to come in, which came in January. So the actual thing actually counts. So my first buy, that I absolutely have zero regrets over is the Louis Vuitton MM Agenda, which is the medium agenda. I absolutely love this. I've been using it faithfully. Probably see my post-it sticking out there. I absolutely love this. I It seriously organizes my life. And I just love how I have it organized and everything and sectioned off. If you wanna see how I did all of that, I have a video up above. I also put it down there too. So you can see exactly how I organized this, my review, my unboxing two videos, unboxing and then how I set it up in a separate video. But I love this so much, I don't regret it, like at all. Okay, I'm gonna try to move swiftly through these. I have three shoes to show you. I'm gonna start with sneakers, I think. No, let's do boots, because those are more easily accessible for me right now. So I'm only gonna show you one shoe because it's easier. I mean, I could have definitely gotten the entire pair, but both of them look the exact same, so. These are the Fendi Colibri. Don't judge me on my pronunciation, okay? These are the Fendi Colibri. The spelling for these will be on the screen. Fendi Colibri ankle boots. It's my third time seeing Fendi Colibri, but I just wanna really acknowledge that's what they're called. But I love these so much. They are understated, although they have monogram all over them. But when you're far away, you can't tell, you know, what they are. Well, I mean, you can because you see something printed on it, but they're still kind of understated because you can wear them with all black for a pop of brightness, you know? And it, they're just so fancy. That's actually how I style these. One of the times I wore them, I've worn them several times. They don't require any type of breaking in or anything. They are just awesome. I love them. I love the little metallic heel on the back. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice heeled ankle Chelsea style. Very comfortable walking too. And as far as sizing, these are 41. I typically do get, I think this is like technically an 11 or something. I don't know for sure, but this is a size 41 and they fit to perfection. I love these so much. Second and last pair of boots I don't regret buying or I need to stop saying regret because I, I mean, I guess it would be a regret. I'll not regret because it's my favorite luxury bias. So whatever, you get me. These are the Christian Louboutin or Louboutin. Is it Louboutin? Let me know. I don't know. I think, I think it's Louboutin. These are the Christian Louboutin Corner Baby 85s. And 85, I think, is like the centimeter of the heels. Now, I did protect these on the bottom so my red wouldn't get damaged. If you would like a video on how I did this, you can't see it, obviously, when you're walking. I mean, you see kind of that part, but I don't really care. I don't want this part to be damaged. If you want to see how I did it, just let me know because I have another pair of Christian Louboutins. I need to do the same thing too. Christian Louboutins to me and to most other people are super uncomfortable. These are 100% comfortable, 300% comfortable. I literally walked in these for a funeral, literally six or seven hours being with my family a few months ago and I had no problems or anything with these whatsoever. They are super comfortable. They accentuate so many looks. I wore these with a suit and I was a bad ass, okay? I wasn't trying to be a bad ass at a funeral. I mean, I kind of was, but I'm telling you, these are stunners. They look great with dresses, skirts, jeans, 
I'm telling you, if you have trouble finding a comfortable pair of red bottoms, you need to look for these. They are the Crying Baby 85. I got them from net porte They are awesome. They seriously made me rethink not getting red bottoms because I bought one pair of red bottoms, some heels that were super uncomfortable. And I, after that, I was just over ever trying these again. And I'm so glad I gave these a try. I saw a girl in Zara with these on. I was like, are those comfortable? She's like, yeah, they really are. And I kind of believed her because she seemed like, you know, she was believable, I guess. But I'm telling you, try these. Last pair of shoes I have, these are actually sneakers. These are the Balenciaga Triple S in light blue. These are actually the second pair of Balenciagas I got. I also have them in black, all black. I tend to like the solid Balenciaga Triple S sneakers better than the ones that have multicolors. I don't know, it's just me. But this color is such a standout. I've seen this color in bags basically everywhere, trending. And that's not, um, that's honestly not the reason I got them. I actually really love the color. And they are heavy, okay, but I don't care because they're a bold flex and that's all, that's basically all that matters, right? <laughs> we're done with accessories. Let's move on to bags because I know you guys, well, no, we're not done with accessories. I have one other, I can't believe I forgot this. I have a list on, in my agenda, okay. My other item that's an SOG is this Recto Verso from Louis Vuitton. OMG. I'm not sure if I have the review up for this yet. I do have it filmed though, so it's coming. I absolutely love this wallet. I'm not gonna go into detail because I have a review coming, but it's just awesome. It holds coins, cards, bills, business cards, and it's so slim. One of my best buys in 2020. I was so glad I was able to scoop it up because I do know they are hard to find at the moment. Let's continue with Louis Vuitton. One more item from Louis Vuitton, and that's my Nano Speedy. This is another hard to find item. I just love how small and compact it is. I do have a review for this up as well. Link up above, also down below if you don't see it up there. But it's so cute. I'm not gonna go into detail because I have a review already, but y'all know about this. Y'all know the hype. It's so cute. It's my only speedy. I don't have any of the bigger sizes, but I'm glad I started with this one because now I'm thinking about getting a bigger one. I'm not sure. I don't really want monogram. I don't really want Demia Bean. A damier bean. I want to wait and get something really bright and bold and you know so I'm gonna wait for spring summer because I think there are some cute ones in that collection that I might take a look at. I don't know if I'm gonna get them but I'm just gonna look. Two more things, two more bags. One of them is my Nikki baby from Saint Laurent. Now I absolutely love this. Y'all know I do because I did a review on it as well of course. Linked, linked. This is in vintage crinkled leather. I just love how carefree it is. Yes, it's a designer bag. Yes, it's expensive, but it does not require babying, like cradling, cradling, cradle, cradling it. Nice. Like an egg or anything or a baby cradling an egg. Who does? Well, I mean, I do because I don't want to break them. But anyway, it's just awesome. I love how much stuff it fits inside. How roomy it is. I have my dust bag in there at the moment, so you can't see anything. I love the compartments. I love how you can adjust it easily for a shoulder bag or a crossbody. It's just awesome. I absolutely love this. I'm so glad I got this. And it comes in a lot of colors too. Okay, last item. I don't regret buying or my favorites. I have to go. I really wanted to put the Trendy CC in here. I probably should have, but I'm gonna go with this one over that one. And this is my, of course, my Chanel medium classic flap in black caviar leather. I've not done a review on this. If you want one, let me know. There are tons over on YouTube or on here. I still might do one because just because there are tons, they're not my review. So I'm just saying, okay. Same kind of deal with the Nikki. You can adjust the strap, make it shoulder long. I just love how bougie it is, you know, and everybody sees it. Everybody knows what it is. Yes, I'm one of those people. I'm not gonna deny it. We all have a little of that in us, but you know, you still be humble and stuff like that, but you still gotta flex, okay? Sometimes, or half the time, <laughs> or a lot of the times. Okay, this is the double flat one as well. So, yeah, oh my gosh, this video might be short. I'm sure you guys are happy about that, right? <laughs> but I absolutely love this. I have a review planned, I guess, because I wanna do one. That's it for my best luxury bags. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. No, I only have eight things. I didn't want to make it too long because I can't say everything I bought was the best. You know, that's not realistic. I wanted to pick things from different categories. SLGs, shoes, bags, and 
clothes that I really wear. I really didn't start getting those, or did I? Got a few things in December, but maybe this year we'll have actual more ready, or actual ready to wear things to include it. But if you guys have any requests, special requests for any videos, let me know down below in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Rate the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss anything I post in the future. Any likes videos. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.